Welcome to the second part of this tutorial about dominoes where we are going to see a way to place all the dominoes in a relatively easy way and then we will apply physics to all of them to create that animation that you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. Uh, before that I want to apologize for my English that is far from good but hopefully is good enough. So, we have the domino and the material we created in, in the first part of the tutorial and I also have a, a, a scene that I have prepared for this part is the same that the, you saw in the, in the animation and this scene is also included in the files you can download if you didn't download them in the first part of the tutorial you can see the, the link in the description of this video. So the first part, the first thing we are going to do is place the dominoes along this this way, like you saw in the in the animation. To do that we are going to, to use a, a curve and a, a ray modifier, but we can't use the ray, ray modifier directly in the in the domino, so I'll be doing a small demonstration why we can't do that. I'll duplicate this uh, domino to a different layer here. Let's add a curve, a Gaussian curve. So I'll be changing this to see better the why we can't use the ray modifier in the domino. Now Let's select the domino, let's add a modifier, add, let me remove this subdivision surface, uh, let's add an array modifier, we'll select the feed curve and we choose the, the curve. Let me rotate the domino to see whether the defect. Now we had to add a deform curve. And we, sh we choose the the same curve we create. Now you can see we're starting to see here uh, a deformation to the dominoes. Let's increase a little. You can see that these these dominoes are completely deformed, and we can we can't use this to to our, to the animation to do the animation. Uh, to fix this, we will be using instead of the array directly in the domino, we are going to add a, a plane and apply the array modifier to that plane, to that, to this plane. So as a modifier array, uh, we change fix fix account to fit curve, and we choose the same curve. Now again we add the deform curve and we choose the curve. You can see that the plane is deformed but now we select the domino, shift select the plane, control P, object to parent the, the domino to the plane. Now we select the, the plane, we go here to the object panel and down here there's a duplication uh, uh, and we choose uh, faces here. So you can see that the dominoes are placed along the, the plane and you can see that the dom dominoes itself are not deformed. The plane eats but the, the dominoes aren't. So this is what we want to, to create our animation. There's another way we could use, use to, to create the, these to place the dominoes along the curve, I'm going to demonstrate that. I have to, maybe we have, have to rotate the domino again to the original position. Uh, to do this, I'm going to parent the domino to the curve. Control. Uh, we can't use the control P because for some re reason uh, it doesn't work. Uh, to, this effect, to create this, the, the same effect. So we have to select the parent here. In the object panel, we select the parent here. So 
you can see that the domino have changed the position. If we use uh, the control P, the domino will stay in the center. I don't know exactly why, but that's we have to select the parent here. Now we go into duplication. So we have the domino selected. Go into the duplication and select frames. We remove this option here and you can see that the domino has been placed along the, the curve. If to change the, the distance between them, we change this, this value here. And the start, because we have two dominoes in, at the start, start of the curve, we just adjust this. You can see that the dominoes are facing always the same direction. To, to fix that, we have to select the curve and going here to the curve and down here there's a key uh, here a uh, path animation we select the follow this option here you can see that the dominoes are following the, the curve we could use this but if we change the, the curve itself you can see that the, the distance of the dominoes change and every time, every time we we need to to adjust the curve or duplicate this curve to place more dominoes, we have to manually change the these values here, these values here, and the other method we don't need to change anything. So duplicating the curve and changing the curve, uh, the dominoes will automatically adjust to that curve. So we'll be using the, the first uh, method we, we saw. So let's start placing the dominoes. I'll be moving this out of the way, this domino, the original one. We had a play, uh, curve now, but it has to be in the same place as the domino itself. So to do that, we, we need to move the 3D cursor. We shift S and select cursor to select now we had the, the curve shift a curve bezier and we adjust the, the position of the curve to the uh, here will be will be the beginning of the animation like you saw in the, the animation at the, at the beginning of the tutorial and here will be the last part the first section of the dominoes so we adjust this curve a little better, more or less like this, and now we have to add the, the plane, shift A, add plane, we change the size of the plane in the edit mode, the size of the plane will be the distance between each domino, so let's, this will be ok, and we add the the array modifier to the plane, fix count as you change to uh, fit curve, and we select the curve. Okay, now we had the deform curve and select the same curve. Now we have the plane along the curve. Now we have to place the, all the dominoes. We select the domino, we select the shift, select the plane, control P object. Now again we select the plane, we go to object and the duplication we, we choose the faces. Now we can see that uh, the dominoes are, are placed along the, the curve and the plane, but the ratio the they are facing the wrong the wrong way. So I'll be rotating this uh, this plane to do that uh, rotate. R, Z, and I believe is minus 90 degrees. They now should be facing the right direction to do, to to see that we're going to make a first a quick uh, render. It, they must be facing this way. So when they fall, they look the values of the dominoes. They will look uh, up, and that's what it's it's okay 
you can see that all the dominoes have different values thanks to the, the material we created in the first part of the tutorial so everything is okay right now and let's make some adjustments to the curve so we going to move this a little forward and let me see this is going to be let's go okay this will be okay this one will, will eat the domino that will be in this step so i believe it's okay the dominoes that will be in this platform will be leaving them to the finish of the, do the tutorial because we have to place them manually this technique is not as useful to, to this place as if it's, it's easier to, to place them manually here so now we're going to place the some dominoes here like you saw in the animation so to do that we're going to duplicate this uh, the plane, the curve and the domino with ALT D okay we'll be using ALT D because we want to to have the object data of the dominoes exactly the same to all the dominoes itself so now we have to the only thing we have to do is duplicate make the, the curve a unique object because if we change this curve now the original curve will also be changed to do that to fix that we just with curve the new curve curve selected we press the, the tube here so now we have a, a completely different object uh, let's adjust the, this curve to the position we want so it should be more or less around here okay I believe a little less one domino less so to give us space to to the curve that will be here and another around here so this is okay let's duplicate again the these first ones alt d x to move a little to the right and again we choose the new curve and again the two to create an unique object let's suggest now this curve here to be more or less around here we give some space to the domino that will be in the left here in the left okay this will be fine i believe Let's extrude the, the curve to place the windows around here. Okay, let's see. This is a, a question of adjusting the, the curves to the, the right place. I believe this is okay yes let's now make the last curve that we need to create again we duplicate the original the curve the the plane and the domino alt d x move it a little to the right we select the last curve and again here press 2 and now we have the last curve as a single object and we adjust this one Let's place it more or less here. Okay, now we extrude again this groove. Place the last section. Okay, I believe this will be okay. Let's see, 
time here and here also it's okay so we have all the, the groups created we only need to place the dominoes in this platform to do that i'll be duplicating this domino here with alt d we place it more or less at the center of the step and we remove the the parent so we don't want the dominoes to be duplicated remove the parent with alt p now we have to place the domino above the step to do that we'll be using the snap tool here we change to faces or we also could, could use the shift control tab and change to, fa to face now either G, Z and pressing the control uh, key we just need to, to move the mouse uh, in this step and press the left mouse button to to place the domino now we have it above the, the, the step we only need to duplicate it along the this I believe uh, yes I use the alt D again we use we duplicate with alt D we block it in the X direction because we don't want to, to move to the, the size to do that we press shift X and again control to place it above this step again alt D shift X Control Alt D Shift X Control and Alt D Shift X Control. Let's here. Now we only need a, another domino. Alt D in this case Y and we move it more or less here. Let's move it a little. Okay, let's. believe this will be okay so we have all the dominoes in place we're going to move all the curves and the plane the planes to a new layer so we we don't need them anymore let's select the place here move to to this layer oops I believe I select Oh, we, we need to create before doing that we need to create uh, uh, separate objects to the to these dominoes they are a duplication and we can apply the physics to, to them and to create uh, uh, separate objects of each of these dominoes because we can control them we just select all the planes and we press Control A and we have this option down here make duplicates real or we could, could use the shift control a so we press here and you can see that all the dominoes now are a separate object the, this way we could we we can now apply physics to all of the dominoes now we can we can move the planes to another layer So we select all the planes and move them where we place the, the curves. We can also move these dominoes, we don't need them anymore. And now we will be going to apply physics to all of these dominoes. To do that we select one of them, we select all of them with shift L and because they have all the, 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 the material is same to all of them, we choose a few material. All the dominoes are now selected. We go to the tools panel with T key and here in physics we press here has active. All the dominoes have changed color, that's because they now have physics applied to them. And we're going to calculate mass and we choose plastic yeah, plastic uh, now we have the dominoes prepared for the animation we need to add a plane below the dominoes or they will fall forever if you don't have anything 
to so they can stay above the plane so let's move the cursor to the center with shift C shift A mesh plane and let's adjust this plane to the more or less where the dominoes are okay this will be fine now we have the add passive to, to the plane so it's a uh, it will have physics but it won't move and we have to change here in the physics panel the margin to let's change it to one millimeter and uh, that's because if uh, this margin is too high the the dominoes will be uh, uh, in the air so this this way they will be placed in the ground so I believe we have everything ready and let's calculate the, the physics to do that before doing that because this this com computer is quite slow and we going here in the scene and we simplify it. The, uh, activating the simplify here the subdivision surface that the dominoes have will be only zero subdivisions and it will be a lot faster to this to my computer let's alt a to play the animation see if everything is okay okay right now it, it is let's see if the dominoes will go in the platform and this one has to hit the sphere too yes now it's going down let's see if in this part everything is okay too yes now we only have to wait to the the last part okay let's see let's see if we have time enough frames to calculate our physics probably we had okay so if uh, the animation we didn't have enough frames to calculate all the animation we only need to change these the animation to more frames to give it more frames and also in the scene panel in the rigid body cache we, you have to change here to let's say 300 for example now in this case we had enough frames to calculate the physics but if not we keep calculation with, with alt a Okay, I believe it's okay, everything is fine. I believe a domino just fall through the ground. Or not. Yes, there's a domino falling there. I don't know exactly from where, but uh, to, sh to fix these problems, you just increase these values or play with these values to fix this. Or Another way is to give some depth to to the ground plane. It also fixed this kind of problems. But I don't even know where the, that domino came from. But you know, it's around here. To fix that, you just try increase the to give some depth to the to the ground plane. Sometimes it's enough to fix. To fix these problems this kind of problems let's see if we can calculate I believe it's already fixed so or not let's remove the free alt bakes see if we can fix that from below there Let's bake, I believe it will be faster to bake instead of see the animation at the same time. Let's wait a little more.
Okay, let's see if that fixes the, the problem we had with the domino falling through the ground. And yes, we have it fixed. Well, no, you, you you see that we only need to give some depth to the, to this plane, to the ground plane. So I believe everything is okay now. I hope I could uh, explain everything fine with my bad English. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And hope you like uh, this tutorial, the first part about that material and the second to place all the dominoes. I hope th that you can use these techniques to any any projects or other kind of projects. And this everything in this tutorial. I hope to see you in future tutorials. And until then, be well and bye.